Synchronizing audio and video is an important tool as part of the Adobe Premiere program. I have here my video file, which was recorded on a DSLR, but I've recorded the audio separately using a Zoom recorder because the quality of that audio is much higher. So all I'm going to do is drag my audio tracks onto Premiere, and I've already pre-processed this audio in Audition, so I know this is the type of audio, the quality of audio that I'm looking for. Now you can see here, just visually, looking at the waveforms, that the audio is out of sync with the video. So if I play this back now... So you'd hear myself talking at a slight delay because the two files are out of sync. So it's really easy to synchronise. You highlight both the video and the audio file, right click, then click synchronise, choosing audio as a synchronisation point, and then click OK. Depending on the length, it will then um, take a few seconds or, or maybe up to a minute to synchronise the audio. And now we can see that the waveforms are perfectly lined up. You'll also notice that the audio shifted forward rather than the video shifted back. So everything always moves forward on the timeline. In this example here, the second pair of video and audio files, if I synchronize those, you will see that the video in that case shifted forward. If this doesn't work, there are a couple of things to watch out for. First, that your audio and video tracks are unlocked. So if they're locked, you see a hashing over the track. You need to make sure that the track is unlocked. But you also need to make sure that the target track indicators are switched on. If they're not, as in this case now they're off, if I highlight, the synchronization option is not available in the pop-up menu. So just make sure that the tracks are highlighted and the target track is highlighted and you've got locked off. In this example, I have audio that's been recorded throughout the filming session, but the video has only been recorded at certain points. So we've got two video clips and a longer audio track. To synchronize this, we could start at the beginning with this clip and the audio. So I'm going to highlight, right click, select synchronize, choosing the audio synchronization point. Did you see there how the video track moved along? This clip moved along and it actually overwrote the second clip which means that any edits we've already been making to this clip have now been erased because they've been overwritten. So let's just reset this. Let's move our second clip along out of the way so that's not going to be affected. Let's synchronize our first clip. And now what we can do is synchronize the second clip. But the way to do this is to drag your second clip so it butts up against the first clip and then again synchronize with the second clip so that the video clip moves along forwards. We know that when it's synchronizing, the clip is going to move forwards. If we didn't butt the video back up against the first clip, let's see what happens. Let's move the video over here where I put it and synchronize it. Ah, okay, so we've got this clip synchronized and now this clip is desynchronized. So again, we could sort of right click there and resynchronize it and then everything will come perfectly lined again. But you can see here that this could be quite a juggling act if you're trying to synchronize multiple things at the same time. So the approach I use is separate out the clip so it's not going to be overwritten, synchronize the first clip, move the second clip back and then resynchronize with the second clip. And so if you've got multiple clips, let's just separate this one out again like this, just arbitrarily. Um, if you've got a third clip, then when you're doing the first clip synchronization, move both of them out of the way, bring them the second one back, synchronize that, bring the third one back, synchronize that. Now this does seem a little bit long-winded, but it's been the most reliable and most efficient way I've been able to find to synchronize multiple clips on the same audio track. And then you can highlight everything and move it back to the start of the timeline. We now have our video and audio synced. We need to mute the audio from the video because we don't want the audio from the DSLR. We only want to use the processed audio file that we've now synchronized everything to. So we're going to mute the video file audio. And in our final edit, we can drag in our synchronized timeline. We have the full audio that we recorded there, which we can then use for the edit if we wish to, or we can then edit out any blank bits 
um, either on here or in the original example if we wish to before we drag it into our final edit. So it's a really useful way of synchronizing all the files first in their own timeline and then drag that timeline into your final edit to work with that.